Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to calculate the number of oscillations. Now, there are a few approaches to this, depending on what kind of scenario that you have, but uh, let's talk about a, a couple, and uh, we'll go from there. Now, when it comes to calculating the number of oscillations, one way you can do it is um, use a stopwatch. You can use a stopwatch to kind of calculate the, the length of each oscillation, and then um, go from there. Second, if you have a pendulum that you can work with, you can measure the length of the pendulum, and then you can make the appropriate calculations as to the number of oscillations that it will make. Now, another approach is if you know the spring constant as well as the mass of the object, that will allow you to make appropriate calculations to figure out the number of oscillations that the object can make. So it really depends on the kind of scenario that you have to work with, and option three might involve, you know, some physics involved, but um, it'll be very applicable. So depending on the kind of approach that you want to take, use a stopwatch, if you have a pendulum to work with, me uh, measure the length of it, or you can find the spring constant and the mass of the object and then go from there. All of these approaches involve making the appropriate calculations in each scenario. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and there's a few approaches on how to calculate the number of oscillations.